Want to know the best app to train your dog with positivity and organization? Well, in today's episode, I'm going to reveal a top dog training app so you can train your dog daily, even when not at home. Let's get out. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Dingle Days. Since my last video on the best dog training apps for the iPhone and Android, there's been a ton of interest to know what else is out there to help automate your dog training journey. Recently, the founder of a new app called Pup To Date reached out to me and asked me to review their product, which is a helpful tool to help you organize your dog training. I've been using the app for a little while now, so I'll be talking about my Pup To Date experience in three different parts. Firstly, I'll be talking about Pup To Date, what it is, why you should use it, and what some of the main features of the app are. Secondly, I'll show you some of the paid features in Pup To Date and how you can use them to supercharge your training. And finally, I'll show you how I personally use Pup To Date in my daily routine with Disney. As usual, timestamps below or in a pinned comment, so be sure to check those out. And just as a note, this video is not sponsored, but they did provide me a promo code to access the full functionality of the app in order to provide an honest review to my audience. So what is Pup To Date? If I had to describe it, it's basically an app that helps you track the last time you took your dog out for a potty break, fed them, and it has built-in functionality for reminders. Studies have shown that sticking to a schedule and using a positive training method set you and your puppy up for a great life together. This app aids you to do just that. It's simple and it's easy to use. It's been extremely helpful to help us organize our daily routine. There is a one-time $5.99 in-app purchase to track unlimited events to help keep their servers running, really. So with that said, let's jump into the phone and I'll highlight some of the awesome tools in pup to date So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my experience with downloading the pup to date app and getting everything set up. So I'm just gonna open up the pup to date app. It just says, welcomes you to pup to date Tap here to continue. It's also extremely important to use positive training method. Tap here if you agree. Yes, I agree with positivity. All right, so let's add your first training event. First, choose an emoji to say, what the event was. For example, poop might be an obvious one. You can even choose multiple emojis. So you could input, for instance, just tap on the water icon. When's the last time your pup drank some water? Let's say 15 minutes ago. You want to add a note? Drank it all. <laughs> drank it all. Great. Done. And you can save that and then it immediately gets added to your log. So you know that for a fact that happened. Or let's say your dog takes prescriptions. Let's say you took some 30 minutes ago. Add a note. No issues going down. Sweet. And then you can save that as well. It also has the ability to create notifications. So for instance, you can add something new. Let's say go for a walk. Let's say daily at 11 o'clock. 11.05. Why not? save. So now that's in there and then you'll have a reminder set. So I've been using it for a little while now and it's just really, really simple way to document your experience with your dog throughout the day. I think it's especially useful. I don't know if any of you all have children in the audience out there, but I know when I was a new mom, I would use an app to help track when's the last time my infant had eaten his meals or done his business or whatnot. And the same is applicable. <laughs> right to your dog in the sense that if you had a puppy or something and you really wanted to make sure everything was on track i mean you can use it for adult dogs as well um, but your routine might be a little bit ingrained at that point and maybe they might be a little bit more communicative and actually being able to share what's going on and you might be a little bit more in tune to their needs by the way if you enjoy the content we put on this channel now is a great time to smash that like button and let us know what you think about pup to date in the comment section below and hey, once you're done with this video, head over to our website and check out the blog post as well. It's an easy way to support the channel. Or this is a very simple app to be able to track your routine with your dog. For instance, I got a few entries in here already. Let's say a great walk today at 6.30. He ate a little bit at 8.52 and he drank everything at 10.22. So generally speaking, I'm able to document when I took him for a walk, when he ate his food, and when he drank a little bit of water. If I wanted to input a new entry, let's say we wanted to say when he went to sleep, I would just tap on the Z's there and let's just say he went to sleep five minutes ago. I could add a note, went down, no crying. Ooh, no crying. Okay, let's say you had a puppy or something and save. Great, so now you can just scroll through there very easy. Great walk, boom, boom, boom. All right, so let's say you had a dog that was on medication. Let's say he had it 15 minutes ago, add a note, um, no issues. Done and save. So now it's right there. You can also set reminders. So add your first reminder below. So let's say we want to remind ourselves when he needed to take his medicine. Okay, so he needs to take his medicine daily, every day at let's say 8.30. And note, take two, for instance, and 
save. So now we have the reminder there all the time. I love the concept of a training app that is basically enabling you to keep notes, particularly if you're out all day. I see a really great use case for this app being, hey, you're out with the family at the beach, you're outside of your normal routine, and you need to document and keep things straight because maybe you're playing volleyball or you're on the beach or, or whatever. Maybe not in times like these, but perhaps. I think definitely whenever you're out of your element and it's not like normal, hey, you get up and take the dog outside or you have your normal routine you have with your pup, this definitely helps keep everything logged and in one place. And it's very specific to your animal's needs. These are all tasks that you would normally do with your animal. For instance, making sure that they're watered, making sure that they're fed, their prescription medications, taking them for walks, logging their sleep or when they do their business or other for that matter. So you can choose your own emoji and basically assign it and make it custom. Up Today is a great app to help you track the needs of your animal and help you get into a routine that's great. I think this would have been particularly useful when Disney was a small puppy and we were trying to keep track of every little thing and especially when we were doing the potty training phase. When's the last time he went out? You know, if it was you or your partner who did it and maybe you didn't have that communication and you didn't remember when, you could just check the app. So that would be a great feature, being able to sync perhaps an account with another person to be able to use that data to basically continue where you left off. It looks like it's in the very developmental stages. So I think this is a chance where the audience actually really has a chance to be impactful to the development of the future of this app. Some features that I would like to see would be some type of integration into the calendar app. So I don't have to always navigate straight over to the app to see some of the inputs that I have. Well, I'm not gonna necessarily scroll all the way to my dog training apps, find the Pup Today app, and then try to link that with anything that I'm actually doing. So more integrations with other software. The other thing I would like to see in this app is the ability to export the data. Right now, it seems like I can only access the data on the page where I have my inputs and I basically have to scroll down through it. So some way to be able to filter through that data and actually make some meaningful analysis out of what it all means when I aggregate it together, that would be very beneficial for the app and its future development. Maybe even some suggestions in there or maybe a way to share routines, that would be kind of neat as well. So maybe there is a routine for a particular type of training and iterations that you want to make sure you get in, or maybe there's a particular routine for a particular, I don't know, just maybe make it more social. I think the ability to share routines would be pretty awesome. I know I'm always searching YouTube videos for different types of productivity routines. Not that I really integrate all of the suggestions into my personal routine, but sometimes it's just nice to be able to see what other people are doing and see if you can take any of those best practices and put them into your life. If you guys have any feedback for the developers, there is a tab straight from the app that you can access feature requests or general feedback and you can send a note straight to them. I think it's a great app. I think it's a great template and a great start. I do like that it actually exists. It's tailored to your animal and I think it could really help you organize your daily routine. There are tons of things developers are hoping to add in the upcoming months too, such as weekly and monthly reminders, the Apple Watch app, and more. And they welcome the community's feedback on your personal experiences with the app and any feature requests that you would like to see in the future. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to download the Pup Today app or provide your feedback by way of a review. If you got value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up so the YouTube algorithm knows it's good and shares it with a broader audience. Also, when you're done with this video, head over to our website and check out the blog post to accompany this video and we can continue the conversation there. If you missed our last video announcement, be sure to check out our darkroom gallery where our photo from the Edit With Me series are now available for you to own. Thanks so much for tuning into the channel. As always, more new pet content coming soon, and we will see you in the next video.